Molly, congratulations. What does it mean for you to be uh, named Trainee of the Year? Uh, thank you very much. Um, it means a lot, actually. I didn't really expect to be getting a award tonight. I just came along to support the other apprentices. It means a lot to me, actually. I've tried to work as hard as I can to be here. Um, Rep Pope has helped me a lot. Um, very patient with me. It's taught me a lot. You've only just commenced your apprenticeship, so this is a real confidence boost for you. This will give you that boost that you, you probably need at this stage of your apprenticeship. Yeah, it definitely has. I think it, this confident boost will definitely help me. And, and the award reflects you know, the hard work that you do on these tables and your attitude as well. So you really must be, uh, you must be delighted to, to, to win this award. Some other great trainees have won this award over the years, so it's a real feather in your cap and um, you must be delighted. Because you're not from a racing family, so you're pretty new to the industry, aren't you? Yeah, it's probably my second year to the racing industry, but it's always caught my eye when I was little. And I just always wanted to be a jockey. My family, they're not into racing, but they've been really supportive. And, and what would they think about you winning the award tonight? Um, I haven't told them as yet, but I, I assume they'll be very and the reaction from the other apprentices tonight on the award? Yeah, um, they've been very happy for me. They've congratulated me. Yeah, been... Have you noticed there's a great camaraderie between the apprentice jockeys? Yeah, we're all very close. Um, it's competitive when we're out on the race course, but when we're not on the course, um, we're all very close. Yeah, we're all very close. Yeah, we're all very civilised and close. And you must want to thank uh, your host trainer, he's, uh, he's a very patient man, he's a, he's a, he's a quality horseman. He um, definitely is, he's, he's been very patient with me and when I've needed a bit of a wake up call he's given it to me and he's pushed me to get to my very best and he'll keep pushing me until I get better. Hopefully he'll be one of the top apprentices of the year next year. Yeah, he could be in line for an award next year. Yeah, now, you're not too far from winning your first race ride. You've uh, been placed a few times, I think, in, in various tracks, Carnarvon, Junction, uh, um, some, some tracks around the state. So you're getting close, not too far away. Yeah, it's just a little bit frustrating. You've probably had 37 race rides now, and you know, I think I'm home, but then I just get beat on the line, or there'll be one coming up on the outside that you can see. But hopefully it'll come. Is it, can you sort of imagine within yourself the thrill that might be? Yeah, I think I'll be thrilled. It wouldn't matter what happened that day with the first race. I think it would be very overwhelming when it happens. You're in, in good company because Chris Parnham took 57 rides to get his first win in Milo, but you're well on your way. Congratulations on the award. It's a great reflection on your hard work, so congratulations. Thank you very much.